a quick little bit of content. I'm going to go through the general recommendations for some basic hormetic stresses. Now, what is a hormetic stress that you ask? Well, the best way I describe it is hormetic stress is the, the dose respondent aspect of the stress that the body responds positively to. Quite simply, if you exercise too long or hard, you stay in the sauna too much, you stay in the ice bath too long, the body doesn't respond positively. Now, on the other end of that, if you don't exercise enough, if you don't spend long enough in the sauna and you don't spend enough time in the ice bath, again, the body's not going to respond because there's not enough uh, stimulus for adaption. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So, general recommendations. Going to jump in my beautiful found space tub. You can see my sauna just here. And as I jump in, keeping control of the breath as I go, now the general recommendations for cold water immersion is 11 minutes per week. A couple of weeks back we put a matrix up on Instagram because 11 minutes per week at 10, 12, 15 degrees is very different to 11 minutes per week at two, three, four degrees. So my ice bath set to seven degrees. Not quite as intense as it used to be, and I really... All right, oh, 102, 103 degrees. Pretty well, I'm in my traditional sauna. I've actually got a traditional and infrared sauna. And again, like, like cold water therapy, there are a couple of nuances with sauna, but the general recommendation is somewhere between 44 and 60 minutes per week. So it's significantly more than cold water therapy. And I love the sauna. I'm gonna give a little, little dose of heat and just jump out. Exercise. The general recommendations for exercise is 150 to 180 minutes per week. To recap, cold water therapy, 11 to 15 minutes per week, sauna, 44 to 60 minutes per week, and exercise 150 to 180 minutes per week. Potentially, you should be doing 10 times the amount of exercise to the amount of cold therapy you are doing if you follow these.